GI TV is brought to you by KWA, Gene G Armament, Operation Lion Claws, Palco Sports, ICS, and Javelin Airsoft Gunworks. Hi, GI TV. I'm Bob the X-Man Hildebrand. I'm very excited to be back again today here on Monday because, well, right as I came to the studio, you can't see this, but there was a giant pile of new G&G stuff we're carrying. So I just went through the first two or three layers and picked the coolest gun I could find at the first moment possible. So in my hands is the G&G GR4 100Y folding stock version. Uh, now, I like this gun for a number of different reasons. First thing I thought of was the fact that it has a folding stock. I'm a big fan of folding stock guns because they're very good for vehicle-borne operations. As you can see, this cuts down the length of this gun. Uh, this folding stock does not clip anywhere, but it does have a friction lock, so it's not going to go all the way out. It'll actually stay in pretty well. Um, now, moving on to the front of the gun, the vast majority of this gun is made out of polymer. Um, we do have rails along the entirety of the top, the left and right, and the bottom of the front hand grip, and there's even a quick detached sling mount on the right of the hand grip and on the left side, so that's really nice. Uh, we do have front iron sights and a rear adjustable and removable iron sight, so that's very nice. Uh, we have a cool charging handle right there, and that's actually how you access the hop-up on this guy. And this gun is also a blowback airsoft gun, which if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm a big fan of. Uh, there's also another sling mount here by the back of the stock. Uh, the gun does come with a 450 uh, round high capacity magazine and it does have a textured hand grip and the trigger well or at least uh, the trigger guard is reinforced and made larger. So, the f so if you do have very large gloves or thick fingers it's going to be a lot easier to get into this trigger uh, group. So the biggest feature on this gun which I really like um, is the quick detach rail system. As you may notice, there's not a free floating barrel right here. It's all connected. Uh, this is actually all polymer as well. But there's a latch right here on the top of the rail at the front. Click that up, and you can take the entire rail system off. Quick detach rail system. That's really cool because you don't need a pec box uh, to attach the exterior of the gun to at least get your gun powered. You can actually just slide it off and then put a battery in there and slide it right back on. Uh, it even allows you to change the battery into your RIS system or your rail system on the field, which is very rare and pretty darn awesome. I uh, highly suggest this gun. Uh, we're actually going to have uh, Aaron in here in a little bit to have a quick look at the internals or at least uh, his player's perspective. So we're going to take this to the Chrono in a second, but before I get there, I should make you aware that there are four different versions of this gun. There's a desert version of this same gun, which is right here, and there's also a black and desert version of the 100Y that has a extendable six position stop, as you can see. So there's quite a few versions of this gun, at least four, but there's a lot more GG stuff coming out. So keep your eyes on what GG has to offer on our website. We're going to be back right after the chrono with Aaron and myself for a quick perspective. Stay tuned. the FPS and they both shoot around 335 feet per second so it's pretty awesome making them perfect for CQB. Now I brought Aaron here because he took a quick look at the internals. Aaron what did you find? Um, standard version 2 parts, real good parts. Uh, steel 18 to 1 standard ratio gears, high torque motor, polycarb piston, really standard parts. Everything is going to be compatible with Tokimori style upgrade parts version 2. So really easy to upgrade, really easy to get shooting, pretty awesome. You'll four rounds a second if you feel like it. <laughs> yeah, you do, yeah, you do that. Yeah. Um, but stock, really good parts, it's going to last you quite a while. And the pneumatic blowback system is pretty well made, so it's not going to break on you. No, oh, pretty solid, yeah. Yeah, big fan of blowback, especially uh, the pneumatic one or, uh, pneumatic systems are known to function longer than yeah, other yeah. ones, yeah. Um, now, what do you think about where you would use this gun? I already uh, talked about being, it being very good for vehicle-borne operations and CQB. Where else would you use this? Yeah, like, I, like you said, the folding stock makes it great for, you know, both of those things. Also, I would try mount. Because hmm. a lot of times it's like longer ranges, so the stock's going to help, and then you might get in the building or trenches or something, you're like, oh crap, I need this. 
you're good to go. Mm, Touche. Right. Well, very interesting. Uh, just to remind you guys, uh, there are four different versions of these guns. Obviously, there's the two folding stock versions that Aaron and I are holding. There's also uh, two six position stock versions, extendable stock, uh, available. Actually, let me just go grab it right here. <laughs> Right here, we've got one in desert and tan of this, and I believe this version goes for $209, and the folding stock version right here goes for $219. So make sure to check those out on our website. They'll be up there very soon, and g and has got a lot of cool stuff coming out this year. So make sure to take a look at that. This is Aaron from Marketing, and I'm Bob the X-Man Hildebrand, and this is GITV. I just saved a bunch of money with the savings trifecta. I wonder how many BBs I can get with the money I save. Maybe I don't need that many BBs. Airsoft GI TV would like to thank Condor Outdoor, Elite Force, Contour Camera, Ares by Z Shot, G Code Holsters, and Vism by NC Star. I'm Sergeant Scott Graham from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. I'm here to remind you to always wear eye protection when using your airsoft gun. Airsoft is a lot of fun, but it's not worth losing an eye.